Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or on the internet. In the last episode of Know Your Mind segment, we considered the first behavioral disorder, namely the Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder or ADHD in detail. In this episode, we analyze the second behavioral disorder, namely the Opposition Defiant Disorder or ODD. Opposition Defiant Disorder is a disruptive behavior disorder that emerges during childhood or adolescence. It is characterized by persistent angry or irritable mood, unruly or argumentative behavior, and spiteful or vindictive reactions. Thus, ODD includes a frequent and ongoing pattern of anger, irritability, arguing, defiance, and seeking revenge. Often, persons affected by ODD are uncooperative, hostile, and defiant towards parents, peers, teachers, caregivers, and other authority figures. They are more troubling to others than they are to themselves. However, ODD is different from defiant or oppositional behaviors children and adolescents exhibit, particularly when tired or stressed. Oppositional behaviors associated with ODD tend to be more extreme and disruptive than normal childhood stubbornness, occur more frequently than the adolescent rebelliousness, happen persistently at least for six months, transpire across a wide array of situations and interfere with different areas of the affected person's life, such as family relationships, social activities, educational situations, and tasks related to work. Some mental health experts speak of two types of ODD, both of which may have different roots or origins. The first type of ODD is more reactive. It is marked by irritability and associated with internalizing conditions such as anxiety, fear, or other similar emotions. This type is fueled by poor frustration tolerance and problems of emotion regulation. The second type of ODD is more provocative. It is mostly marked by argumentativeness and vindictiveness and is associated with externalizing conditions such as difficulties in regulating relationships with others. This type is linked to neurobiological makeup including low heart rate and low stress reactivity. Biologically, both of these types are signs of under arousal of the autonomic nervous system. Symptoms of ODD may begin during preschool years and before early teen years, though it can develop later. They are often related to angry or irritable mood, argumentative or defiant behavior, and hurtful or revengeful behavior. First, symptoms relating to angry or irritable mood include losing temper often and easily, frequent anger outbursts or temper tantrums, showing irritability, being touchy and annoyed easily and frequently, and being angry, indignant, and resentful. Second, symptoms relating to argumentative or defiant behavior comprise arguing with adults or people in authority often, persistent stubbornness, unwillingness to negotiate or compromise, active and frequent defying or refusing to follow rules or requests by authority figures, 
questioning everything, provocative behavior, annoying and upsetting people on purpose repeatedly, and regularly blaming others for their own mistakes or misbehavior. Third, symptoms relating to hurtful or revengeful behavior contain saying mean and hateful things when upset, being spiteful, hurting the feelings of others deliberately, speaking harshly and unkindly, seeking revenge or being vindictive, frequent class fights, and having shown vindictive behavior twice in the last six months. The above-mentioned symptoms of opposition-defiant disorder can be mild, moderate, or severe. When mild, the symptoms occur only in one setting, such as only at home, school, work, or with peers. When moderate, the symptoms occur at least in two settings, such as at home and with peers. When severe, the symptoms occur in three or more settings, such as at home, school, and work. The symptoms may begin as mild, and if no care is given, they can develop into being moderate and severe. The cause of ODD is not known because no single cause of ODD has been identified. Though the ODD condition tends to run in families, no genetic patterns have been identified as its cause. However, it seems that emergence of ODD in children and adolescents is related to the combination of biological, social, psychological, and child-rearing factors. These factors include poverty and poor living conditions, although ODD can occur in families of any economic status, experiencing a traumatic transition, having parents with a mood addictive or behavioral disorder, having a bad relationship with a parent, having a neglectful or abusive parent, having a parent who is an overly harsh disciplinarian, and other family instabilities. Similarly, researchers indicate that children and adolescents who struggle with peer acceptance issues, having a dysfunctional family situation, and suffer from harsh, inconsistent, or neglectful parenting practices tend to be affected by ODD. Thus, it may be most accurate to consider that ODD is the consequence of interaction of several factors. Its emergence is related to individual characteristics such as high emotional reactivity, low emotion regulation, or difficulties in social learning collide with environmental difficulties such as dysfunctional parenting style, parental psychopathology, socioeconomic difficulties, and high levels of family conflict. ODD affects about 3% of children and adolescents. ODD conditions occur more frequently and twice more common in boys than in girls before adolescence. Approximately 1 out of 10 children under 12 years old is believed to have ODD. Treatment of ODD involves learning skills to help build positive family interactions and manage problem behaviors. Therapy, medication, or both may be needed to treat mental health conditions related to opposition-defiant disorder. Parents and caregivers need to be extremely patient and empathetic towards the affected persons, making them feel less controlled and giving them freedom to choose. They also should take care that they do not stigmatize or label the person affected with ODD as defiant, difficult to deal with, or argumentative. Such labeling can be counterproductive. A healthcare provider, a mental health professional, or a child development expert 
can be of help in dealing with ODD affected children or adolescents. In the next episode, we will consider the third behavioral disorder, namely the conduct disorder or CD in detail. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.